All right, friends. So last week we did a capture the relic game, and I thought it was just a fluke that the relic in the middle was protected. Turns out it's not a fluke. Look at this. We have war elephants and we have elite war wagons protecting the single relic in the middle. Best of luck, guys, getting to this relic with all this chonk uh, protecting it in the middle. Um, we have eight players here. And uh, then we also have Gaia, who's protecting this relic. There's a whole 50,000 HP in the middle protecting what eventually will win people this game. Um, we got eight players, of course. We're going to introduce them now here in the teal. We have uh, Sally. Now, Sally got rigged into the, the game last time and did win. And there were units towards the middle. So I think Sally will be one of the favorites here just because of that experience. So Sally's playing as the Hindustanis. In the orange, we have Penscrawl playing as the Dravidians. In the yellow, we have Equalize TM playing as the Vietnamese. In the green, we have Excalibur playing as the Armenians, which brings up a point. Uh, this is a first for me. So the Armenians, every time they build a fortified church, get a relic for free. Now here you start with your monastery or fortified church. It doesn't look like they get the relic. And seeing as you can't build additional monasteries in this game mode, that feels like kind of a scam for the Armenian player. But anyways, moving on in the blue, we have Sir Explosive Puppy Saturation, who must have changed his name to Sir Explosive to, uh, you know, make me look bad. Uh, playing as the Burgundians here in the purple, we have Titanium Boar. Playing as the Vikings in the gray, we have Demoror playing as the Mongols. And then last but not least, we have Lorhe playing as the Berbers. And I'm noticing there's a lot of llamas. Uh, we don't have a llama emote. We still have the Alfred the Alpaca emote, though. So it's pretty much the same thing. Now, um, the amount on each resource is different because it's hyper random. And each llama has 41 food. So these things are very thin, uh, starving llamas, honestly. It's, it's pretty disastrous that they're choosing to eat these poor things. And then the deer as well. Uh, apparently, have not been able to find food because it's just 76 food there. Uh, the gold has a thousand gold tile, at least on some of them. The stone has, wow, 600 a tile. So plenty of gold and stone, but food is a problem. Uh, even the boars as well. Like, okay, I guess this boar's 340, this boar's 118. So that should be pretty consistent from player to player. And that's just how uh, this map tends to work. So, uh, that's about it. Uh, you know, wood situation is usually the same as a normal game, except for the straggler trees. So, the straggler trees, like, this tree is very thick. You wouldn't be able to tell, because we've got the small tree mod, but, yeah. That would be interesting. What if you could make hyper random? Adjust the size of the, of the resource piles, or the animals, based on how much food was there. <laughs> that would be, that would be special. Yeah, the cost of the units is still the same as, as normal game, right? So, like, villager cost is the same, unit cost is the same. It's just the resources that are out there. So, yeah, um, here comes the scout from, from Puppy Saturation. Now, Puppy Saturation, I think, is trying to lure these away and maybe towards somebody, but these units do stay close to the middle. Uh, they always tend to gravitate back towards the relic, which is their, the goal to protect this. And normally, I'd say one of the best things you could do against elephants is monks. But again, you can only have one monastery in this game. But they're going to be making monks and sending them towards the middle anyways. War wagons, though, that's going to be tricky. Now, these things don't have blacksmith upgrades, which is a positive. But yeah, I think normally I say in Capture the Relic, you should just focus on the relic. But I think here players need to boom. They need to have a lot of economy to eventually deal with this. Now, from the player's perspective, they can always see the middle, and I think this is just a hyper-random feature now. This has happened twice. Okay, well, Titanium Boar couldn't see the middle. Right? Well, wrong. Titanium Boar just maybe didn't think these things would attack. <laughs> and, uh, well, they attack you, all right. But, you know, the whole map is not visible for these guys. It is just the middle that is visible there. But yeah, I, I don't remember if if you can convert these units. I believe you can, though. You should be able to convert them. I think the only units you can't convert from Gaia would be a hero, because you just can't convert heroes in general. So, 
So these guys have uh, realized the situation. They obviously realize there's people watching as well. So maybe a bit of pressure for them. But overall, it seems like a pretty close game economically. I love how there's one berry bush with 128 food. <laughs> it feels like this is a trap, right? It feels like, you know, if there's two two bushes, then you're like, okay, well, that's normal. Just one, it feels like it's going to be a poison bush or something, you know? I guess it's not this type of, that type of game. Now, some of this terrain is weird. I wonder if you can build on this rock terrain. My feeling is one of these terrains you can't build on. Um, normally, like if this was Land Madness, if you know that map, you wouldn't be able to build there. Farming, obviously, is going to give you as much food as a normal game, so I think transitioning towards farms is really smart. And uh, we have time to chill here. So once again, I will thank some people who've shown up here. Back to my uh, normal stream schedule as of... Oh, man, the plays here from Sally as of uh, this week. So a lot of people coming back. Thank you for that. Thank you, Arkin, for the 28 months. Yes. Smallhead, thanks for the 27. Makiki, welcome back. Calf, Kalf, sorry, Road Dog, Ace John, Biggle, Deadly Mix, uh, Butlow, Balderdash, E11, Fredich, thank you, guys. Nice to see you, good cat. What's up? It says even the hot tub doesn't give a good gauge of your height. Yeah, we were talking about about height earlier. Yes, I'm glad you remember that time. Hmm. No, Capture H has never had a palisade tool. But Ben, the, the fact that you remember that just tells me how old you are. Speaking of old, I am now 31. I turned. Uh, I didn't do the whole like streaming on birthday thing. Which is the streaming meta. I was like, you know, I'm actually going to take this day for myself and be lazy. And uh, But I turned 31 three days ago. So, uh, But yeah, this uh, basically back in the day, okay, back when Benib and I were walking uphill both ways, uh, before the definitive edition, when you were spectating, you could have a palisade and you could see if there was a hold between walls, for example, or like if a terrain was buildable. That was that was a pretty nice feature. Obviously, Capture Age is like made spectating so much better in so many different ways. But that is one thing that <clears throat> Capture Age doesn't have. I don't think that's possible. But thank you for the birthday wishes, guys. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Uh, Throzen says, inspired by your recent upload, friends and I have played ten times shared bonuses versus AI the other day with stacking Civ with Scorpion techs. It was ridiculous. Yeah, I'm sure the AI didn't know what hit him. Hmm. Yeah, farms give normal amount of food. It's just the starting resources, the things that you you collect uh, that that can differ, right? So like llamas, sheep, boars, goldstone. Penscroll actually has militia here, so Penscroll might use the approach of attacking somebody. Which, of course, you can do. There's nothing stopping you from that. If you get a big lead over somebody, that could be someone that doesn't give you problems later on. That's weird. The audio cut out for me there. Sorry about that. But yeah, I think Penscrawl... I mean, Penscrawl's still in Dark Age. I think Penscrawl maybe made this for protection, if anything else. So we'll see. It looks like Titanium Boar who lost his own scout against the Gaia units in the middle earlier, walled in Gray's scout. And Gray said, purple, no. <laughs> so that actually might be converted here. That's actually next level stuff. Is you get to Castlage, you make a monk, and you convert that scout, and then suddenly you have a scout again. Puppy Saturation says, oh man. If you manage to bleep this up. If you manage to bleed, I don't know what he means. Uh, yet again, another formal petition as a 31-year-old to be able to remove the chat filter. Because it is annoying. <laughs> that will they will probably never change that. <laughs> but it is annoying for me. And I'm allowed I'm allowed to voice that. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind being able to see people say what they're gonna say. Just let me turn it off. But they're figuring things out here. Some walls coming up. And we'll see how things go. Right, Charge says, let us curse in peace. Well, my bigger issue with the... Th there is that, right? But my bigger issue with it is is the majority of the things that it bleeps, it's not even a curse word, you know? 
but uh it is a microsoft product this game and i think they're taking the approach of like better safe than sorry because they don't want any active real moderators so they're like this this kind of covers us if something bad happens right like if something bad is allowed there's a screenshot it goes viral you know social media starts to freak out then they can be like oh we have this had this in place because oh i could do the whole statement right now okay yes uh your safety your safety on the internet is very important to us two years ago we implemented this chat filter that removes the potential of saying many words unfortunately uh unfortunately there was a loophole a loop in this system and upon finding out this information we immediately have changed it to make your gaming experience safer and then they you know update it and then there's bugs every other month but they're saying that they're updating the pathing and then that's pretty much how the whole thing goes all right oh we got a trade cart from sally you know i played um a map called marketplace it's actually in ranked right now so if it's still in ranked come tuesday we'll, we'll definitely cast it for Loey the legends and you actually start with um you start with two trade carts instead of scouts it's very interesting a spearman getting some pokes over here on puppy saturation so these two have fought purpose is just passing uh, they're they're asking about the farms and if the farms are affected with the amount of resources which is something other people here have asked all right if you had to guess give me the time that this game ends surely one person can get it we have uh, 1200 people here welcome everybody what do you think give me a time now youtube you guys could technically skip ahead all right so if someone gets it on the button I know you cheated, but let's see. We got 5730. Someone said 48 hours. Wow. I hope not. The year 2035. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with one hour, nine minutes, and 49 seconds. That's what I'm going with. That's game time. We're at 20 minutes right now. I think it could easily go beyond that. Yeah, so green didn't get the relics, but you do have the warrior priest, which is a bit faster and, you know, can pick up the relics. So having the warrior priest is nice. Other civs won't have that. T90, how was the visit with the fam? It was a good time. Yeah, we surprised my dad. My dad turned 70. Unfortunately, uh, you know, the weather was pretty brutal. We had some car issues. Uh, you know, there's some things I, I told some stories on earlier, but um, it was a good time. And my dad got sick, right? So it was like... It was certain aspects just weren't great, but we made the most of it. And um, I will say that when my dad was dropping me off at the airport, um, you know, he, he was dropping me off. Again, he was sick, but we surprised him for his birthday. We, we have never done anything really like that. And he said, it's the best birthday I can remember, son, even though I got sick. And he, he let out a big old sniff, which was really gross. <laughs> and then, you know, we, we hugged and said goodbye but but it really meant a lot to him so my uh my niece was there my nephew was there i got to spend time with them for whatever reason i'm the cool uncle i don't know how that happens you know guys you okay i forgot to say this my freaking my my seven year old nephew is he seven or eight i should know this he asked me why my sweatshirts are so much on my merch store <laughs> uncle tristan why are your sweatshirts $46? I forget. I don't even know the amount. <laughs> Calling me out for my prices. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get them one. Um I, I didn't know that they were interested, but I found out from my from my sister they were looking and he wants one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give him one as a gift. But yeah, he's like the way he asked was like I don't know. It, it kind of made me feel bad, you know. Because they're it's high quality merch, kid. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 90 don't be Jeff Bezos. I think the price is you got to remember like I don't manage the site right they take like 50% of all sales or whatever and it's also way easier than me shipping it I think the prices for the quality considering what prices can be with sweatshirts and merch these days pretty solid I could be wrong though. I could be wrong we'll look at it we're going to be reworking it we added some merch for hidden cup 
and it went really well, and a lot of people were happy with it, so... <clears throat> so, no one has really gone to the middle to try and figure out how they're going to deal with this big ball. Uh, yet. They're talking a lot right now. And they're adding eco, because it, this is the gonna... They're gonna need firepower. They're gonna need lots of army to deal with these elephants. Hmm. Occasionally there's an engagement. Like, I just see purple. Purple said just passing a bunch of times. T90 passings in chat, please. This is like the third spearman I've randomly seen from purple go into someone's base. <laughs> Look, purple says... <laughs> Yellow says, WTF, how did you get in? And purple says, just passing. This is the second or third time this has happened. I haven't talked about it every time. But I appreciate that. Um, you know something else, guys? So this, this place we stayed at had like a little arcade thing. Little arcade room in the bottom. It was nothing crazy. It had a ping pong table. Had like a tiny little skee-ball thing. I hadn't played skee-ball since I was a kid. But it also had... Classic Pac-Man arcade machine. And my brother and I got really competitive with it and would go back and forth, back and forth, just trying to beat each other's scores. Reminded me of growing up because he was 11 years older than me and he would come home from college and he would instantly set all the high scores on every game in the house and then leave for school again. And it would take me freaking months to beat his scores because he was so much older than me. So I wasn't going to let him do it again, you know, now that now that we're older. So, um, yeah, it was a good time. And at one point, I'm not ashamed to admit this because you guys respect my you guys respect my gaming skills and my dedication, right? Everyone else went to bed and I <laughs> from 10 p.m. to like 1 a.m. I was drinking beer and playing back <laughs> in the in the basement that had no heat. Uh, we're not great heat. Uh, it was very cold where we were. And yeah, I just, I needed to get the high score. And then I got the high score and I needed to get higher and higher and higher. And so, yeah, I did. You guys are proud of me. Just, just smile at me if you're proud. Anyways, 100 villagers here for Sally. Uh, the whole full eco breakdown is on the left now. So you can see, you got Sally, Lorhe, Demoror. And, uh, you know, you got Titanium Boar coming up around 80 villagers. Everyone's catching up. It does feel like Pen Scrawl has gone for army before eco, which I don't think fits the situation. I think you need eco on this type of a map. Hmm. Someone says, hey, T90, can you please wait a little more when you select people to community games? I just missed with five minutes. What, you, okay. Now, this is your first message ever on my Twitch channel, right? You you want me to rework my system because you, one of 1,300 people, missed it by five minutes. Is that what you're suggesting? You want me to compromise the entire day for you after this is the first message you've ever sent on my channel. That's what you're suggesting. Okay. I just want to make sure I grasp this properly. I mean, there's going to be... Listen, there's going to be more games. All right? There are more opportunities. And now you're here. Okay, here we go. Now, there's no blacksmith upgrades on these wagons and these elephants. So I actually think the halbs can kill them pretty quickly. Um, they're still chunky, but these halbs should be strong. And guys, I mean, if green continues to do this and makes a path... Green could run right in there and get that relic. These capture the relic games can, at, can end pretty quickly, but I think I got a little too excited here. These wagons... <laughs> there's going to need to be a lot more halbs <laughs> to deal with this. Dude, compromise your entire system. He asked for like five minutes. Ah, uh, well, what? Okay, it wasn't a total system compromise, but like, what am I supposed to do? Make sure everyone's here? Who's everyone? Do we need a sign-up sheet? Do I have to get people's work schedules? Do I have to know their time zones? Do I have to know... Do I have to base this around daylight savings? What more can a man do? Now, here's the other thing. I am notoriously late by more than five minutes. In fact, the first game here started well beyond the scheduled time which was posted this week. So technically, I waited like 20 minutes. Also, just kidding, by the way, I just want something to talk about. It's not a big deal. I'm not trying to scare this person off. 
Ooh, distraction technique. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess maybe puppy saturation did that so green's units would die. I'm not sure what happened there. That was a... Uh... Well, it was a whole family, right? And they're all genetically predisposed to the same heart condition and just pff, all happened at the same time. Really saves on funeral costs, cause then, cause then no one, you know, no one's really gonna show up at that point. Um, yeah, I'm liking what Green's doing. I'm liking the energy. Here we've got walls from Sally and also from Lorhe. Now these two are very strong and they're prepped or prepping for the late game. But this has almost turned into like a bit of a King of the Hill situation where we have to wait a long period of time until the to the middle matters. Uh, Jack and all shades. Thanks for the 27. Eric bomb. Thanks for the 26. I am feeling better, Jack. Um, yeah, I, I was away with family and then I'm not used to the cold, especially in freaking April. Uh, and so I got a bit sick. So probably didn't help. I ran in 30 degrees. I wanted to get some exercise. And so I ran in 30 degree weather. I don't know. But I've got this streamer immune system, right? <clears throat> and so I, I don't, you know, encounter as many germs when I'm working from home. I don't think anyone actually encountered Alfred the Apaca, but people did mention that uh, I think, like, these guys, like, these are just llamas. So I think they, they mentioned killing Alfred because of that. Blue's decided to go for skirms, which is great against the wagons, not so great against the elephants. But I guess if the units kind of stay put, your skirms can always chip away from distance. And, I mean, I know it doesn't feel like a lot of progress is being made, but the relic isn't too far away. And now look at the camel archers. Yeah, this, this is all about to go down now, guys. There's no alliances. The goal here is to get that relic back to your monastery and then you win. And no upgrades on these units in the middle, so they'll go down pretty quickly, especially to these camel archers right now. And there's monks inside the castle from Lorhe. Okay, people need to start making moves. This is gonna, this is all gonna escalate very quickly here. I think, you know, the, the downside of capture the relic as a game mode is sometimes one person just gets to the middle so much faster than everyone else, they get the relic, they win the game. That is how Capture the Relic tends to play out. I love the game mode, but I almost wish, like, the monasteries were destructible and you had to keep the relic for, like, 50 years or something. That, I don't know what people think about that idea. Obviously, something like King of the Hill, right? Here goes Blue to the middle. Oh my god, what the? Distraction technique from Blue? <laughs> I really like the energy there. Also, we got monks from red trying to get to the middle. Hold on. Nah, there's no way. There's no way. That that monk is going to die. But, I mean, the relic moved a little bit closer. Um, They are still trying to make progress. Still waiting for some activity. Anyone making a cab archer unit is going to struggle against the camel archers that are out there. We've got berserks now. And Pikemen here from Titanium Boar. The Zerks are really strong. But Camel Archer still seems to be the most the devastating unit that's out there, I think. I'm just going to kill anything that gets close. We need a big ball of skirms from somebody. Gray's here with Mangadai cutting off purple as well. Is going to kill all the purple's monks. Meaning that purple can't necessarily make a play. Nice shot from Gray. Yellow hasn't come to the middle yet. Shout out to Penscrawl, who's still got long swords there. There is a monk on the way from red. And we have units from Sally focusing in on that monk. And the monk goes down. It might not seem like that big of a deal, but that, that just means a little bit more time for everybody else to get to the middle. There's another monk now. So Lorhe's just going to try again. Let's see if they can focus down that monk. Camel archers are shredding everything right now. The skirms are going to help, though. Will the skirms kill the monk? Will the skirms kill the monk? Got him! All right, so that's like, what? Five, six, seven monks. Lorhe's lost. There's not as many guy units in the middle now. Things can get very active towards the middle. We've got Trebs here from Gray. 
will start to attack Lorhe's base. So now Lorhe has to respect that, because if you lose the castles, you could lose your Camel Archer production. We've got Hindustani hand cannons that have nine range. That should be really strong, and there's quite a few like have out here. And now maybe someone on the right side could make a play. But what a fun game. Looks like here, the Camel Archers... Well, they did, they did a great job, but they still haven't taken out the Trebs. And, oh god, Green has it! Green got it, actually. Green got it with the Warrior Priest, which is super speedy. Also benefits from the upgrades from Infantry Blue. Misclick! No! Misclick! Got him. Okay, so now it is very close to Blue's base, though. Oh god, and there's another one! I couldn't even see it! Oh god. Okay, go get it, guys. These things are so speedy. Oh no! Go, 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 go! Man, Armenians are so strong. I think there's two of them there. I think there's two units in there. Oh, God. The pathing is so bad. They won't attack. Into the castle he goes. And Green's gonna win. Wow. Green. Almost bottom score. Was the first to go to the middle. And the warrior priest got the job done. Man, though, I mean, it's got to be... These guys have to be frustrated. Like, that that feels like a smash and grab right there. Green doesn't have that much army. Green doesn't have army that's good against any of the units that are out there. Elite rats and archers are insane against everything Green has. Camel archers, the pikes, the berserks, even the hand cannons. Like, Green just swooped in there when nobody expected it. Like, look, look at this, guys. We've got 11 units against you know however many like maybe 50 to 100 from everyone else so let's just rewatch this i guess everyone's looking for a monk and maybe they didn't see it the lore haze in the middle i need to rewatch this whole thing okay so the camel archers are still there yeah he simply didn't notice that green was there he pulled the camel archers back because of the attacks and, well, I thought we were re-watching this. Where is it? Okay, so he goes in now. Huh. I mean, it's pretty crazy he got this job done here. There's still Gaia units. He snags it. He runs. And now, of course, everyone hears it. And everyone's kind of over here. And to their credit, they do immediately run after it. Like, killing those warrior priests is tough. They have 100 HP. They have some armor. And one or two misclicks there from Puppy Saturation, and the rest is history. So very clever there from Green. Well played. What do you guys think about this, the, the hyper random with Capture the Relic? I really like it. It's kind of fun. It's like every single game, uh, at least if this is consistent, it feels like every single game there's different units from the middle, or in the middle um, from Gaia, which makes the game less of a feudal age battle, more of an imperial age battle. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I do feel like we haven't quite seen the back and forths that I was hoping for with some of these Capture the Relic games. We had a little bit here. A little smash and grab from green might, might not be what everybody would have wanted, but the utilizing the unique bonuses of the Civ that he, he got uh, rammed into here with the Warrior Priests and also the Strong Infantry, well played there from Excalibur, gets the job done. And uh, here's the KD for you. Obviously, Lorhe's Camel Archers were insane, wasn't enough. Uh, economy as well. I mean, green was behind in a lot of these categories, but still able to get the relic, which is all that matters. Go to capture the relic. I'm still thinking, though. I think that maybe I'm going to see if I can talk to a map scripter and we could have, like, a capture the relic version where you have to have the relic in your monastery for a certain period of time. And, um, the... If you have it for, like, 50 years you win. Maybe even less than that. Because like if all seven people are just going to come directly to your base and try and destroy the monastery. I think it'd be interesting. But I don't know if that's a possibility. I will look into that. Uh, if people think that's interesting, of course.